in studio with me right now, Pete Gasparino, who you'd probably know from uh, the WWF Attitude Era years as Pete Gas, a member of the Mean Street Posse. He has a brand new book, Looking at the Lights, which is available on Amazon and wherever fine books are sold. Pete, thank you for waking up, man. I appreciate it. Oh, it's my pleasure. So how did it work? Did they just have a conversation and say, you guys are all big athletic guys, let's bring you in? No, so he, he called us in on a Friday, and he said, uh, he's like, hey, can you do me a favor on Sunday? Dress real preppy and uh, talk about how we grew up on the mean streets of Greenwich. <laughs> and uh, we, we laughed about it. He actually had a script, and he tore the script up and threw, it, and threw it in the garbage. He said, forget that. I want you to tell stories about when we were kids, getting in fights, running from the cops. Did that <laughs> stuff really happen for you? Oh, that happened. It yeah. really happens. Yeah. So you guys were like actual, like, I don't know, like Greenwich hoodlums in a lot of ways. Yeah, in fact... My my mom just got through reading the book, and I got lectured on it, and it happened over 20 years ago. So, <laughs> so you do the vignette for WrestleMania, and that vignette, I remember it was super popular because anyone who lives in Fairfield County, the idea of, like, the mean streets of Greenwich. <laughs> Why, there's not? Uh, well, I mean, listen, I mean, I mean I, I'm, I'm intimidated by guys rocking vineyard vines all the time. That's just the way I work. Okay. But it's... You know, it was so funny. It was so kind of ahead of its time in a lot of ways. It's one of those things that I think would have gone viral if it happened in 2017. The pro wrestling industry is notorious for not liking newcomers who kind of go straight to the main roster, or go straight to the top right away. You come in with no experience. You go straight to the WWF. You're on Raw. You're on SmackDown. You're on all that stuff. What's the locker room reaction to you? Well, at first we were just a novelty, and we, you know, they were taking it as a novelty. Then all of a sudden they kept bringing us back, and I think some of the guys that weren't getting on Raw or SmackDown. We're kind of like, you know, what are these guys doing here? Get out of here. And uh, we had to earn everybody's respect. And the way we did it really was we took beatings and we always had a smile on our face. Mm. And you know, Mick we, Foley tells a story in the book about how he like nailed one of you guys with like a chair and thought yeah, you me. guys were going to complain. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah. And he said he thought you guys were going to complain about it. And he said, no, no, you came in the back and said thank you. That's it. And then the same thing with Bradshaw. Bradshaw's pretty stiff in the ring. And he wrapped that thing around my head like a Flintstones cartoon. And <laughs> I think I had the bump and everything from the cartoon. Oh. <laughs> but um, we, I went backstage and just smiled, said thank you. And he said months later, that was when uh, I earned his respect. 